guys, uh, another topic that we're going to have is the phases of matter still on quarter three. Okay. Now, what are the phases of matter? So, the just like what we have on the uh, on the other lesson, we have the three basic phases of matter, which is solid, liquid, and gas. So, the phases of matter changes on a certain condition. Okay, let us uh, look at its condition wherein the phases change from one form to another. Okay, have you ever wondered why this ice melt? So, if you're going to look at it, this ice melt simply because there are conditions okay the first condition that's why this ice melt or this ice is turning into liquid it is because of the temperature from our quarter one lesson which is heat and temperature we discussed or we already defined what temperature is when we say temperature it is the hotness or coldness of an object. So we can consider an object hot if the temperature of that object is greater than ours. Or we can consider an object is cold if the temperature of that object is less than our temperature. Okay? So it melts simply because of its uh, simply because of the condition or a factor of temperature. Okay. Now, if you're going to look at it, this uh, picture, boiling water. Okay. Now, why is it water boils? Okay. There is what you call boiling point. It is a certain temperature that is reached by water then starts to evaporate or turns into gas. Okay, that is what you call boiling point. Okay, the boiling point of water is 100 degrees Celsius. Take note of this, guys. Or 212 degree Fahrenheit. Okay, this is what you call when the temperature reaches 100 degrees Celsius or 212 degree Fahrenheit. This is the point where water turns into gas or what you call vapor. The process wherein liquid turns into gas is known as evaporation. Okay. The, re, uh, the lesson that we have is the changes in the phases of matter. So from liquid turns into gas, it is what you call evaporation. Okay, but evaporation exists when water changes, uh, when water reaches its boiling point, okay, which is 100 degree Celsius. Now, you will notice water turns into ice. Okay. Sir, when it is... Uh, when is water turns into ice or turns into solid? When water reaches its what you call the freezing point. Okay? The freezing point of water is 0 degree Celsius or 32 degree Fahrenheit. Okay? Now, this process is known as freezing. Freezing or what you call solidification. Okay, water turns into solid because it reaches its what you call freezing point. Okay, the freezing point of water is 0 degree Celsius or 32 degree Fahrenheit. Okay, now let us look at the particles at a molecular level. Why is it that it turns into solid? Uh, it turns into solid, yes or it turns into gas. Okay. Just like what I have told you, temperature has a greater effect on this one. Okay. Once you rise the temperature, 
the particles changes. Okay? Oh, let us look at this video. Okay. We have here temperature of cold and hot. It means low temperature and high temperature. Okay, if you're going to look at this one on a cold temperature, you look at the particles and the spaces. The particles are moving slowly and the spaces are very small. Okay, they have smaller sp sp spaces. But once we adjust its temperature, we raise the temperature. I want you to look at the particles and the movement. Okay? So you will notice there are the spaces are getting larger. Okay? And the particles are moving very fast. This is known as kinetic energy of a particles. So the temperature has a greater effect on the kinetic energy. The greater the temperature, the greater the kinetic energy of the particles. That's why on this hot temperature or very high temperature, the particles are moving very fast. Now, let us adjust. Let us turn into lower temperature. You will notice what happened to the particles. Again, they are moving slow and the spaces are getting smaller. Okay? That is what happens when we changes the temperature. Okay? Okay, another example that will show this phases, uh, changes in the phases of matter is this one. So we have here a glass of water. If we're going to have a glass of water, so this is our setup, tripod, then a pot, and the fire. If we're going to put this glass of water in this one, you will notice something will happen. Okay? Okay. Exposing our pot with fire. a bubble will start to appear. Okay? Just like what I have told you a while ago, water has what you call the boiling point, wherein water will change into gas. When the water reach is reach this 100 degree Celsius. Okay? So when it reaches 100 degrees Celsius, bubbles will appear. Okay? Now what does this bubble indicate? This bubble indicates that the water is now turning into gas. And eventually, this, this gas will escape. Okay? This, this water, water particles will escape and go to the atmosphere, okay, or the surroundings. Okay, sir, why is it that it is going up? Remember our previous topic before. Uh, hot, hot air goes up, then cold air goes down. Since this, this is hot air, it is always going up. Okay. Now, if we're going to continue this one and transfer again this water into our bottle, this will happen. So, you will notice it becomes half full. Okay, why is it becomes half, half full? Sir, where does the other water went or go? So, it means that the other water becomes B4 or simply what we call water B4 or a gas. Okay. Now, the question is, 
how do you describe the movement of water once it boils? So the movement of water, if we're going to look at our, uh, if we're going to look at our video a while ago, the movement of the particles of water are moving very fast because of the temperature. Okay, once it moves very fast, its kinetic energy becomes higher. Okay, thus changing water into gas. Okay. Another question here is, what do you think is inside the bubbles that form when the water boils? Just like what I have told you a while ago, the bubbles indicates that the water inside is turning into gas. So this bubble indicates that there are gases. Okay. Or the water is turning into gas. Okay, another question is, what will happen to the molecules of water if the temperature decreases? What will happen to the molecules of water if the temperature decreases? So the molecules of water, if the temperature decreases, again, recall the video. The molecules of water will slow down okay, because of the temperature that is being decreased. So the kinetic energy of water will slow down. Okay. Next. Thus, this process is known as what you call evaporation. Okay. Evaporation simply because liquid turns into gas because of a great temperature and it reaches its boiling point. Okay. Now, when water reaches the boiling point, its particles move rapidly. Just like what we saw on the video, the particles of uh, water are moving very fast or the particles move rapidly because of the temperature. Okay, ne next. Water will, uh, water will turn into gas as the temperature increases. Yes, just like what we have on this activity, the water, when it reaches its boiling point, it will turn into gas. The indicator that it turns into gas is, are the bubbles. Okay? Until it reaches its boiling point. So when the bubble are, when there is a bubble formation, it indicates that the water is starting to reach its boiling point, which is 100 degree Celsius or 212 degree Fahrenheit. What will happen to liquid when it evaporates and it becomes gas or water vapor? So what will happen to liquid when it evaporates? Simply, it turns into gas or known as water vapor. Okay. And that process, when this water vapor goes up, it becomes cloud. Okay. This process is known as condensation wherein the water vapor or the gas turns into liquid. So the formation of clouds is an example of the process, what you call condensation. Okay, these are a uh, gas uh, vapor that turns into gas. That's why we form a 